We originally looked at craning in the intake into the water. That was carbon intensive, so we are trying to look for a way to reduce our carbon footprint. So we used divers and we used barges to sink the pipes under the water. The divers did all the connections, the matting work to keep the pipe from floating up back up to the surface. We did look at various different options. One was digging into the dam, upsizing pipe work to try and deal with the volumes of water we're looking at. Another option was to do what you see here, which was a lot less intrusive. It was a lot less carbon intensive during the construction process and much less costly. This pipe goes into the water here, about 20 metres. There's a siphon pump within the building. The siphon pump then draws the water out. It doesn't need to run, the water's pulling itself down. Once it's started, the siphon pump then gravity is down the hill, down to the turbine at the bottom. There's 800 millimetre diameter pipe work coming down from the top of the dam, so it runs down the dam face and down through the turbine. That then feeds off into a gearbox and then off into the generator, which is here, and it generates 199 kilowatts of power at the top end. At the bottom of the dam, the turbine is feeding the power to the water pumping station, which feeds the water from the reservoir all the way up the hills, then gravity to cast some of it to supply Edinburgh with water. It's better all round for the environment. We're drawing less from the grid, creating more of our own power. There was a lot of water quality to follow to make sure there was no issues with public health. So the area had to be boomed off to make sure there was no risk of pollution. So this area suffers from what they call as brownout which is a low power in the grid. So there's a generator that also powers the water pumps down the bottom. So if the power in the area diminishes, then that kicks in. Because we are now putting almost 30% into that, that's going to free up the grid for the surrounding area and cut down on the usage of the generator and obviously the fossil fuels with the diesel power in it. It's green energy we're creating and we're moving away from fossil fuels. 